A lot of buyers come to me feeling completely intimidated about the buying process, but let me drop some realtor knowledge on you. Truth bump. So here's eight simple steps to make the process feel less daunting. One, you need to pick an awesome realtor. You need someone with energy, you need someone that's active in the market, that works seven days a week, someone funny, someone attractive, someone that's wearing a maroon shirt. Me, I'm talking about me, choose me. Step number two, I'm gonna help you with the house hunting process. We're gonna keep it simple so you don't get overwhelmed, stressed out, and quit the process. You don't wanna end up like my client who toured 45 homes in a couple weeks, was stressed out, burned out, and felt defeated, and decided to rent. In order to find you exactly what you're looking for, I'm gonna ask a lot of questions, and you're gonna be very specific. We wanna narrow down your search to match your true wants and needs, so we don't end up looking at a bunch of stuff that really doesn't fit. For instance, if your mother-in-law lives with you, you might want a lot of land with a guest house way in the back. Once you find the one, then I use my mad negotiating skills to get you the house of your dreams. The two fees owed are earnest money and option fee. Earnest money is a fee that you pay up front showing that you earnestly want to buy their house. It's like putting your money where your mouth is. Your earnest money will be applied directly to your down payment at closing. Think of it like this. It's kind of like a down payment on your down payment. An option fee is money you pay the seller to buy an unrestricted right to terminate the contract for any reason. There's several reasons why this benefits you. One, you can have the home inspected. If you find out anything disturbing about the house that you just can't live with, you can walk away from the contract and only lose your nominal fee. The unrestricted right to terminate gives you, as a buyer, the right to walk away from the contract for any reason. You can decide you don't like the grass. I had one client who walked away from the contract because a new construction door latch didn't properly line up. You can terminate the contract for any reason. Number four, get an inspection. Chirp. Number five, don't panic. Once you get the inspection report back, it can seem very scary. It'll often be multiple pages, maybe even 20. The inspector's very thorough for your protection. Anything during an inspection can be worked out and negotiated. Don't panic. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Any repair that you negotiate with the seller has to be completed before closing, and you and I get a chance to go back to the house and make sure. Number six, once we're at an option period, your contract becomes fully pending, and this is when all the behind the scenes work happens. Some things that we'll be doing during that time are ordering home warranties, ordering surveys, making sure that the repairs have been completed, getting the proper documentation to your lender and the title company, and verifying that all repairs are complete. You may not hear from me as often as you would during the house hunting process, but the reason why is I'm doing things that don't require your help. During that time, you'll be working with your lender to get them proper documentation to verify that what you said during loan application is true. Step number seven, because of the Dodd-Frank Act, not dog Frank, your lender is required to send you closing disclosures three days before to verify that all the numbers are true and correct and that there are no surprises at closing. Step eight, we've made it to the finish line. Be there, be square. We'll meet at the title company and you'll sign a stack of documents this thick. You'll sign until your extremities are numb. Then I'll hand you the keys. <laughs> oh, hand on the keys. <laughs> You just bought a house.